School may be back in session, but teachers have been in class throughout the summer. One of their training sessions involved learning how to respond in times of serious injury. News 13's Kayla Tucker shows us what the training entails and what it means to stop the bleed. In an attempt to bring more first responders into schools, all school employees in Bay District learned how to respond in times of emergency. It gives them another option rather than waiting for EMS to get here. You're actually on the scene. You're the first one there. Lieutenant Mike Ronaldo says it only takes minutes for someone to bleed to death. If it's a stab wound or if it's a gunshot wound, pretty much everything we have here, we can stop the bleeding at least well enough till EMS can get there. Stop the bleed is state recommended training. Superintendent Bill Husfield says while they hope it's never needed, it's better to have it and not need it than the other way around. We just think it's important that all of our personnel know as much as they can in any kind of emergency situation they get into. And so we learned a lot from the tragedies that have happened around the country that that's one of the skills that could have saved lives. Each school in the district is stocked with kits filled with gauze and tourniquets. Is to stuff as much gauze as you possibly can in here in order to stop that bleeding. And the more you get in there, the better. And you'll be surprised how well that'll work. We believe it's very, very important to continue to learn more and more as we go through each school year. The training and kits were funded by the Florida Department of Health. Ronaldo says they still have a few schools to get trained, but should be complete very soon. Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.